Hey, what is up guys? Skullified here, and we are back, granted a little bit late, but with What If Episode 8 of Season 1, What If Ultron 1. Sorry, bit late. School, very hard to get these um, What Ifs out. Wednesdays are very difficult. Getting these live, show out, live shows out while in school is going to be a bit challenging, but I'm going to try and get them out at some point regardless. Um, hopefully Episode 9 will be out when it comes out today if I can get to it I hope because I'm going on I'm like weekend away so not gonna be home to record the shows that are coming out then so I like backed up a ton so hopefully these these will get out on time okay um and yeah what if Ultron won I don't know if this is gonna be picking up on last what if because I believe last what if the Thor one ended with Ultron like coming down so i'm not sure if it's like the first continuation sort of or if this is just gonna be a different universe where ultron won um very excited though because it seems like it's gonna be one of the more interesting ones where again avengers are probably gonna die but uh yeah if you guys do enjoy my reactions to these what ifs and all the other marvel shows be sure to leave a like subscribe and let's hop right into the episode this one breaks my heart oh no hmm Okay, Hawkeye. So is this from the second Avengers? This looks way too snowy to be. I don't know. Those are definitely the robots from... Oh, that's a neat trick. Where's that been in the movies? That's super cool. Just a fucking Invisi cloak? Jesus Christ. We got 30 seconds until their signals reconnect with the high bar. Oh no. Why where's the rest of the Avengers? Why why is it just Black Wi Widow and Hawkeye? Not cool, guys. Oh, he lost his arm. That seems to have already been robotic. What is going on? This is way past Age of Ultron. If it even followed a similar path to get here. Yes. Oh god. With the infinite power of the mind stone, Ultron began to lay waste the planet. This is gonna be so weird seeing Ultron in Vision's body. Be able to launch the nukes without them. Cap, Thor, Hulk, and Iron Man already? His mind would fail to see the distinction, which is why you have to. Jesus Christ. They really get rid of all the, like, the main Avengers so quickly. And they launch nukes. Wonderful. So the whole world's just basically gone except for Hawkeye and Natasha? It's so weird seeing Vision, or like Vision's body not talking with Jarvis's voice. Oh? Fascinating. There's no way. There's no way. Come on. How, why couldn't Vision have done that? What? How? Well, I see everything. Why? What? But why couldn't Vision have done? Now he's gonna go to different planets. Oh. Wonderful. Now he can just create his own army. This is so stupid. That's all right. I saw these people were. Oh. Okay. Poor Korg. 
Yeah, they're really destroying every form of life. Ego. I'm not sad about that death. Sandar? I love how most of these planets are from Galaxy Guardians movies because they're the only people who go to different planets. Oh. Who's on Xandar that could have done that? Oh, Marvel. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't think you can handle him. Not gonna lie. Because you have the power from one Infinity Stone, he has all six. Yeah, there's no way. You can't win. But I think he can. <sighs> God damn. Bur <laughs> Literally no one can touch him. Oh, is he going to be able to sense him? Can he sense him? He can hear him. Yeah, he can hear him. This is so weird that these characters can hear the Watcher. Doctor Strange was able to get to this in his what if too. What the fuck? Oh, the Watcher is scared. What the hell? Even I cannot imagine the horrors that might befall me. No, no, no. Even imagining a human being is not as invincible as it might seem. Okay. Interesting. Which is who? Just Clinton. Okay. Oh, that's so odd that the Watcher was... That's the first time we've really seen him scared. Right? Like, stra he interacted with Strange and he talked to Strange, but the Watcher's never been scared like that before. Countrymen never heard of PDF? Hard copies are harder to steal. Easier to destroy. But code... Code is sacred. And that's what he never does. Is, is he going to interact with them to help them? Because he's that scared of Ultron? Just if you ask. I feel like the Ultron... The Watcher shouldn't interfere, though, until, like, a movie or something. I don't know. I feel like that'd be a better fit, I guess. I don't I don't know what they're doing with the Watcher in this whole multiverse thing. Like, how much What If is going to actually tie into the movies and the sh other, like, live-action shows. That's the um, guy from Black Widow's movie shield, right? I can intervene. But you can't. But he can't. Is he actually going to intervene? Yes. Oh no. This is so interesting. If we want to take down Ultron, we need an AI that can combat his code. Yes, I know that it's not easy, but I think <laughs> the Death Star plans are not the the I love that they can do all these Star Wars reference. No matter like what you want to say about Disney having Star Wars and Marvel and everything, I love that they can just do this now, like mention each other. The Watcher still hasn't intervened, I don't think. I think he was about to, but Oh, shh. Oh, no. If the Watcher dies here, though, that would destroy everything. Does the Watcher not have, like, any fighting power? Wait, they just burn Zola? What happens if this doesn't work and they needed him still? 
I feel like that wasn't a smart idea. Is that... Oh, that's the arrow. Oh, that's funny. That's dope. She's actually using the shield very well for someone who's never trained with it. Oh no. Do they have to like get close to Ultron somehow? Even though he's like in a different mu he's like in the space between multiverses? Go, go, go. Oh, Clint's not gonna die, right? I mean I guess he is getting his own show in a few few months, so maybe we'll die here. What an arrow! God damn. All the fancy arrows. I thought it was gonna be like a force field that they were gonna all die from. Oh god. Clint, come on, man. Oh. Attaboy, Zola. Oh, damn. Damn, that's the exact opposite of the end the end game scene. Yikes. What would happen if Clint didn't have a family to go back to, I guess? That sucks. I figured they might kill him just seeing he does have his own show coming out, so it's not like we're gonna be getting a lack of Hawkeye screen time. Oh god. This is a ridiculous episode. I feel like this episode's gonna have the most impact on, like, the actual MCU as a thing. Well, if you don't intervene, that means you just die. I mean, to be fair, I guess, yeah, it would be breaking the... I mean, it would be breaking... What he His oath, right? Because, like, this happened all on its own. This Watcher's power, though, is really insane to be able to just stand up to the Infinity Stones. Legendary music playing. You cannot compute the power of my will. He looks like he's wearing some of the, like, what the Eternals have in that trailer. Oh my god, they're just going through universes. I was kind of thinking, maybe, or like, sort of hoping that we might find like a, um, Star Wars, like they might go through a Star Wars universe at some point, just as like a thing, because they mentioned the Death Star earlier, so. Oh, strange. Interesting. Wait, are we not getting this continued? Wait! They ended it there? But that seems like that's the conclusion of, like, the entire series. And I don't understand. That seems like the how the they would conclude the entire set of what if. And isn't there's either like one or two more episodes left, right? I don't know if nine's the last episode or if there's ten. But uh, unless maybe the next episode's like the continuation, which would be the first time they really did that, but This is the only episode that's really referenced other episodes, right? That I can think of. Off the top of my head, because he's bringing in the strange, the evilish strange that killed 
and took over in his multiverse. And then this Ultron, he's going to put... T but he's really already breaking his promises then, huh? I feel, I really felt like he was going to be... They were going to... Like, the whole what if was going to just be them introducing the Watcher. And then later on in, like, a movie or something, he'd eventually end up breaking. But no, it looks like looks like he's breaking now which is not at all what i expected out of this show he he is very terrified of ultron which is freaking scary like uh, i never only if tony and bruce didn't ever make that that would have been so good it's so nice but yeah i guess that means yeah because wanda and all them probably just got killed eventually captain marvel was able to get killed yeah i don't i guess doctor strange is really their last hope here which hopefully they, they brought benedict cumberbatch on for that so maybe they are going to do a two-parter and the next episode will be a continuation which would be nice because if i do get to watch the next episode it will be when it comes out in like a few hours so i'll be nice and fresh for it but yeah, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.